Hey everybody, my name is Patrick and I own McDonald Timing. And this video is a follow-up to my initial review of the new Identilinks in 2022. So my initial review of the new Identilinks released in 2022 was that I thought it was pretty good. Um, I, I was really happy with it overall, great build quality, and I thought it was pretty, a pretty solid device. Um, Using it for the rest of cross-country season, I have not changed my mind. I think it's still a phenomenal device. I'm really happy with it. But I did say that I would post a follow-up when I actually used it at an indoor track meet. And this past weekend, I timed an indoor track meet. Uh, so I was at Eastern Illinois University, and I would say their lighting is kind of just mid-range. I've, I've been to some places that are darker, and I've certainly been to places that are lighter. Um, or have better lighting. Uh, let's look at some of the images and we'll come back and wrap up. This is from February of this year and it's using the Itinolinx Plus or XR Plus, whatever. It's the second camera that they released, so it's it's quite old. Um, it's the silver bullet-ish one that's based on the IQI705. Um, so it is certainly not ideal. Uh, I definitely had probably some better settings that I could have grabbed onto as far as maybe a little bit better on the lens, but certainly could have done a little bit more zoom in order to capture a better view of the actual uh, hip numbers on these athletes. But it was passable, it's workable. I was okay with it. Um, and then setting wise, I've got it set up for, uh, you know, about half of the, the frame height um, and then a good frame rate that I was comfortable with and compression is as low as possible shutter speed 175th it's just okay um, you know I, I admit like it's it's not great but for what I needed it, it was fine um, and then in a faster race you know there's a lot of tearing a lot of blurring issues I mean not not ideal not ideal from a long way. But I can see what lane everybody's in, and, and so it's more or less okay. And actually, this same athlete will see him again. Early burn. So this is the final of the men's 60 using the new one. Um, and we have Braylon again. Uh, and we can definitely see a better view of the hip numbers in this race, certainly. Uh, now in the last race, actually, we, they didn't have them uh, because I told them we didn't need to, to run them, but uh, they did today, so great. Uh, and you can see like when an athlete has uh, a little bit more of a stationary spot with, uh, with their leg, you know, versus this kind of sweep phase. So like when, when these guys and their right leg are down, we definitely get a much better view of their their leg and the, uh, sorry, the, the hip number. Totally readable though, totally readable. And we go to a mile race. And here's where things really changed around as far as the visibility of the numbers go. Um, you know, I've got about the same view as far as the actual width of track that we're, we're looking at with much, much better clarity and we have more frames. So again, we have the ability to kind of pull from a slightly wider range of leg movement. So when we have a movement where it's really still, we can see that hip number much, much, much better, you know, where there's a little bit less, uh, you know, blur when, when their leg is a little bit more, more stationary, like what it is when it's out in front right here versus kind of on that sweep where it starts to get a little bit blurry like this. Uh, and then settings wise, we are running 1080p. Um, and so 90%, so even a little bit less in the compression and shutter speed 240. Again, probably could have gone a little bit up on that, but uh, it, it produced images that were very clear. Now, certainly I could spend a little bit more time getting things dialed in, especially when it comes to the shutter speeds. And I probably will in the next few meets that I do there. But overall, really, really happy with it. Um, honestly, can't complain. I, I did bring my smaller silver bullet guy and I put it up and I, I never ended up using it. 
and so I was really happy with just a single guy. I know certainly it would be better if it was a little bit closer to the finish line, but again, I was able to solve that with resolution, so I don't really have any complaints. Um, I think overall, my, my thing is that we should be getting more of them. Uh, you know, I hope that they are maintained by, by links for a little bit longer. I, I wouldn't mind a slightly better lens with a little bit more zoom. I do understand that, but honestly, it's, it's about as close to a perfect device as they've been able to make recently. As far as the Identilinks go, it's definitely top of the chain. So, thank you for watching. See you soon. Happy New Year.